Hi everyone, today I will be doing unboxing for Monteverde Ritma. Monteverde is a USA based company. It says a world of luxury and innovation. Let's find out how luxurious this pen is. Uh, by the way, I'm doing this uh, review from India. I purchased this Monteverde pen from Gulag Pens from US. It actually shipped to India. I wasn't sure whether Gule uh, is shipping pens to India. I was pleasantly surprised when they said that they do. So here we are. Uh, this is the Monteverde Ritma pen. It feels really really nice. The blue that you see here is slightly different. Uh, in my hand I actually feel that it's more vibrant. Uh, this is a turquoise blue and uh, uh, the pen actually feels pretty heavy and thick. I will try to show you uh, how it compares with the Lamy. So the Lamy is actually much longer uh, than the Monteverde Ritma. It's uh, probably slightly less thick uh, than Monteverde and definitely lightweight. Uh, this one is super heavy there's a foam uh, and a plastic box you can hear the sound inside the box it actually talks about Ritma magnetic cap a new technological innovation uh, from Monteverde USA uh, it basically has a magnetic cap and I wasn't sure about this magnetic cap uh, when I purchased this pen but uh, it's actually really really good to use this uh, you can hear the pop sound and the click sound it really fits really well uh, so see this uh, the popping sound and when you fit this back this is really pleasing uh, I have shown this to a couple of family members and like all of them were <laughs> really happy to hear these kind of sounds I think I have seen this for the first time in any fountain pens pretty good so uh, here's the pen I'll show you the insides it has a standard converter a piston based converter fits in well here You can actually hear the sound the magnet actually works while posting as well but i think like with posted this pen feels really really heavy so i'd not really recommend anyone to use this pen posted but the magnet actually works on both the sides i think this is the usb uh, for the pen the magnetic pop and the magnetic sound when you close this pretty nice in the box you actually get a couple of cartridges i think uh, one is blue and one is black i'm not going to use it and it has instructions for refilling and it has a warranty card from montevale usa pretty nice pretty standard let's look at the nib here the nib has Monteverde written on it. It has a symbol, Monteverde mountain symbol. It's a fine nib and uh, it's a black steel nib which looks really, really cool. Uh, it actually uh, gels well with this uh, section which is of the same color. It's probably a gunmetal gun uh, kind of a body, uh, fairly glossy. I haven't used a lot of uh, nibs which are actually uh, black or dark uh, in color so this looks pretty cool like if you hold this pen uh, the black dark nib actually looks really good let's try to ink this so I have used uh, Monteverde ocean noir ink here which is a dark blue ink I just filled it up uh, let's 
try out some writing samples. Let me zoom in a bit. This writing pretty nice, but it's actually pretty fine. I was pleasantly surprised uh, a US company doing this fine. Uh, usually the Japanese fines are true fine. The Monteverde Ritma fine is probably between Lamy Safari fine and the pilot fine. Uh, I will try to do a quick comparison. Let's try some vertical lines some horizontal lines, some cross lines. You saw some uh, breakage here, which is interesting. I think the fine has some missing stroke, it seems, when I'm trying to do fast writing. Let's see. It's fairly dry, it's not uh, super wet. Let's try standard, quick brown fox. Pretty nice. I actually like this. Uh, the grip section is uh, pretty good although it's metal i think like i am able to firmly hold this pen well uh, the fine is also looking nice let's try to compare a few strokes with lamy safari so this is monteverde ritma stroke i'll try to compare it with my Lamy Safari. Both are fine. I think both are looking very similar to each other. Uh, I'm going to try with my Pilot Metropolitan. I feel that the Monteverde Ritma and Lamy Safari are looking very similar to each other. All three are fine by the way. Uh, you can see that the Pilot Metropolitan is much much finer than the other two uh, because of the Japanese fine nibs. Do some more writing. Cool. Alright guys, let me know what you think about uh, Ponte Verde Ritma. I think the key aspect is the uh, magnetic pop-up and magnetic lock. Uh, that's going to be the unique selling point. 